everybody, especially in education, but through all, throughout the university, they're all all the freshmen are taking the same classes. All right. All right. So um, you could be majoring in almost anything your freshman year, and it wouldn't really matter that much. It's when you hit your sophomore year, especially the spring of your sophomore year, that you really need to have committed to what it is you're going to take, okay. what major you want to be, because um, once you uh, hit you the spring of your sophomore year, um, you're starting to specialize in your major classes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the major classes are only offered once a year, and then uh, they're prerequisites. So for instance, if it's only offered, a class is only offered in the fall and it's a prerequisite to a spring class and you miss that fall class, you have to wait till next fall for it to come Did, around. Oh, really? And then because it's a prerequisite, that means you wouldn't be able to take the next class in the spring until you took the prerequisite in the fall. But the really nice thing about the way we do our advising mm -hmm. is that we've got it all laid out. Right? And so um, you can clearly see what you need to be signed up for you meet with an advisor who helps make sure that you're going to be signed up for the right things. But it's always up to you to, to double check this because this is yours to keep. All right. Okay. I'm going to make a copy of this. Mm -hmm. So um, you take it with you when you go to, to all your advising sessions. Um, this will stay in your folder, right? but you'll have your own copy so that you can update at each advising session to make sure that what, you, what you're keeping is exactly what's in the advising folder. All right? mm -hmm. There's also online advising notes. So after we have this conversation, I'm going to um, summarize what we talked about and put it on the online advising notes.